Welcome to the Hello World guys, this is another episode of the Advanced C++ SFML game series and in this video it's going to be a short video in which we are just going to instead of using the uh, we are currently using our circle shape for setting the user data and uh, uh, also determining when we should be on the ground and when we should not be on the ground but uh, we will actually not do this but instead what we will do is that uh, uh, for example we have got here polygon shape we will create a separate rectangle down there which can uh, prevent some issues and just be better and uh, it will allow us to learn about sensors so a sensor basically in box 2d is uh, uh, a thing that won't actually respond to collisions like a physical body but it will detect collisions so if we can do that i'm actually going to move the polygon shape uh, data down here uh, we are going to create the polygon shape after so that we can just modify the polygon shape in the end and set the user data so let's go ahead and say polygon shape dot set as box now for this box uh, we are by the way I'm going to cut this user data pointer and paste it here so that uh, uh, we set this on this box instead of the last circle and now what we are going to change is that uh, we are going to set this as a box of uh, of course we are going to have uh, it be 0.5 like others on the uh, x you might be tempted to set it to something very small like 0 0.02 or uh, 0.05 on the y axis we are going to set it to 1 since that's the minimum recommended size and uh, uh, we are going to create b a b2 vec2 here which is an extra parameter that determines where the box is actually located so uh, yeah you might if you omit that then the box will be at the center but we are going to create and uh, it also asks for an angle and you can provide that as 0 and for the actual location I'm going to say 0 and you might say 1 or you might say 0 0.95 or uh, you might say something else so uh, by the way we are going to set the is sensor to true and we are going to create the fixture I'm going to change this to 1.0 uh, the actual location and I'm going to change this to 2 since that uh, might be a bit better I feel you can of course set these values to your liking and that's pretty much it and it should cause a basic uh, ground detection to kind of work so let's go ahead and run that and hopefully it should compile correctly and uh, you can see that uh, if I start I do see my sensor you can see the sensor here is uh, all the way down there and it only allows me to jump when I am on the ground and does not allow me to jump if I am not on the ground so that works and uh, that's pretty awesome and uh, there is uh, uh, you might notice a small problem that if we are for example if I for example jump and uh, let's say uh, yeah I just stick myself against this wall and continuously press the left button then I can kind of stick to the wall and that's because it's applying all the force there and that's happening so how can we fix that an easy fix maybe to just uh, go here and uh, set the friction to zero and uh, that uh, uh, that while uh, normal in normal circumstances it was going to make a Mario just kind of uh, slide around the ground but since we are setting the velocity directly that should hopefully never happen you can see I can move left and right and no problems occur and uh, now I can't uh, stick to the ball so if I am doing this well I actually can still stick to the walls uh, no I can't that was because of a small kind of problem in collisions and uh, you can you might notice that uh, a lot of the times box 2d may fail to detect a collision or detect it incorrectly and if that's happening then you can just increase the amount of iterations you have got but you can see it's mostly working we uh, we are basically uh, having that now there is a bit of a problem which is that uh, if you are doing this I am able to kind of fly up all the way to there the reason I am able to do that is because my sensor is kind of also touching on the left side so what we will do is we'll just go in here and make the sensor a bit smaller let's make it 0.4 and that should uh, fix our problem since it's all now only going to allow Mario to jump if he's on the ground and uh, uh, not if he's touching some wall left or right to of him and uh, yeah you can see that the now uh, the ground uh, the sensor fixture is a bit smaller for the ground detection and uh, now I should hopefully not be able to slide up on that wall and I am not stuck to that wall uh, as well and if you notice that uh, for some reason for example you can see it just happened that box 2d was not able to detect everything correctly if uh, that kind of thing is happening what you can do is you can increase the amount of iterations uh, that box 2d is doing so if I were to for example go under fix.cpp you can see we are asking box 2d to do 6 and 2 iterations we can ask box 2d to do 8 and 4 so uh, 8 for the velocity and uh, 4 for the position so uh, yeah it's going to basically allow us to 
you know do that so it's going to make the um, quality of our collisions better or maybe 83 will be enough for example and that's basically going to make the quality actually better and we should be able to uh, you know kind of uh, not have that many problems you can of course we if we are for example going to implement a menu later we can make this uh, uh, something that the user can do he can uh, change according to their liking so yeah this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to be solving yet another bug so stay tuned for that i'll see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and share this video with other people and bye